Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm not doing a book review but a book haul. That's right, I went to the library and got a bunch of books to reward myself for reading a bunch of books. So my library stack at home has not gotten any smaller but it is snowing where I live so I'm justifying this by saying it's reading season so I'm going to read books. Let's talk about the books that I got out of the library, what I'm going to be reading, and if any of these seem interesting, I will be doing a review of them on my channel. And if you watched my last library book haul and there's books in there that you say, hmm, I haven't seen the book review for that yet, that's because I need to script it and do that book review. But it is coming. Let's talk about what I got from the library and what I will be reading as we start this winter season. First of all, something that's maybe a little bit more academic or not as interesting to the lay person, Algorithms by Panas Loridas. This is what it looks like. So I have had this problem for a while. I have some problems. The first is people who use the word AI when they just refer to any little amount of automation in anything. But the second is people who talk about the algorithm when usually in regard to social media or something online and they don't really know what the word algorithm means. Now I have a little bit more background than I think the average layperson does. I received my degree in mathematics. So this is not an unfamiliar concept, but I do find in day-to-day -day life, a lot of people use the word algorithm without really knowing what goes into it. And when they talk about an algorithm, you can tell that they're not entirely well-versed in algorithms. But then I took a step back from my judgment and I said, am I well-versed in algorithms or do I just know a little bit more than the average person? And if these algorithms are things that really dictate our life, what we see online and how social media and many other important aspects of our life happen, then it's probably something that we should all know a little bit more about everybody, not just me, everybody. So I decided to be the change I wanted to see and I got this book out, Algorithms Panas Loridas, and I hope to educate myself a little bit more. Some of this I'm guessing is going to be a refresh, a review of stuff that was covered in my college courses for my degree, but I do think I have a lot to learn just like everybody, so I'm going to read this book and see what I think about it. Algorithms. We'll see what I think. The next up is a book that is entirely outside my comfort zone. And this is a book that I found in the fiction section and I was not sure what to think, but I decided to check it out and we're gonna see how it goes. That is, that time I got drunk and saved a demon. This is what the cover looks like. This is by Kimberly Lemming. This looks like a romance book and I am not a romance reader. I, unless I really care about both characters individually and there's some other aspect to the plot going on, I don't really care about romance very much. So this is outside my comfort zone, but the title was just so intriguing. It was called Mead Mishaps Book One, or it's part of the series Mead Mishaps Book One, and I just want to know what's going on. It's not too long, so if it's totally not my cup of tea, then I can just return it to the library, no harm, no foul. But I just want to know what's going on here, and I like the cover, the color was interesting, so we're going to see what I think about that time I got drunk and saved a demon. Next. This is a book that's part of the Hugo Reading Challenge I've set for myself. I want to read all of the Hugo winners and finalists for the Hugo Award for Best Novel and Best Novella for all years. I'm using the Wikipedia pages, just an easy way to do that. And Fritz Leiber had a short story that I needed to read. It's Ships, Ships of Shadow, Ship of Shadows. And that is in this collection. So I got this collection out. And I also just want to say that even though I'm going to be only reading one story from this collection, I just love the cover. Look at this. This reminds me of the kind of book that I would see in my library when I was a kid in the adult section and think I'm going to read one of those sci-fi fantasy books someday when I'm old enough to be able to read and comprehend and enjoy stuff from the adult section. So this is just what the cover reminds me of. I really like it. There's a plastic film which is kind of reflective making it hard to see, but I really like the cover and I'll be reading Ship of Shadows particularly from this collection and reviewing it. So just one short story but this is the Liber Chronicles 50 Years of Fritz Liber and that's all found in this chronicle I guess according to the cover. So we're going to read that and see what I think about that. Next up is a comic biography and this is Philip K. Dick, a comics biography. This is what the cover looks like. So Philip K. Dick, very prolific author, I have read two of his works so far, Cosmic Puppets and The Crack in Space, and I had thoughts on them. The reviews of both of those books are on my channel, but I figured for an author that is well known, and I have not read any of his big works, they have right here Minority Report, Blade Runner, Electric Dreams, and Total Recall are the ones listed up here. So I thought, well, never mind, I'm not, I haven't read it, so I'm not going to comment, but I'm going to read this and see what I can learn about the life of Philip K. Dick. Next up is a book that I'm going to show you the inside cover for because 
the outside has a sticker on it. This says Geometry and Art in the Modern Middle East. I'm excited to read this and learn about, again, Geometry and Art in the Modern Middle East. It looks interesting. But I ordered this from another library and occasionally they put stickers on the outside cover with all of my personal information on it. So I did not want to show the outside cover, but this looks like it could be a really interesting read and something to flip through. So I will be reviewing Geometry and Art in the Modern Middle East. And I'll see if for my review, I can cover up the sticker on the front page and get a better view. The final book that I'm going to be reviewing is The Monocle Book of Homes, A Guide to Inspiring Residents. This should just be an interesting book to flip through. I read The Monocle Guide to Better Living or something. It was a yellow book. I do remember it distinctly. And it was kind of an interesting read. So I decided to get another one of these Monocle books out and see what I thought about it. This is The Monocle Book of Homes. I'm not really sure how inspired I'm going to get because I'm a renter. So I don't really have a lot of control over the living space that I live right now. But it'll be interesting to flip through and get inspired of the places I could live. I'm not sure. Yeah what I'm gonna think about this, but it should be interesting to flip through nonetheless. So that is what I'm reading for the beginning of winter. Let me know what you're reading for the beginning of winter. I love to hear what other people are reading as well to get inspiration because yeah, I just like hearing what other people are reading and talking books. And if any of these seem interesting, I will be doing the reviews, so stay tuned. Otherwise, thank you everyone. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.